Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're back in House Flipper at the yacht with an ocean view and we've given it a good clean up since we've purchased it and we've done the main deck of the boat now so we want to go to do the little front section where we want to put some sun lounges and then go upstairs I think and then if we've still got time we might go downstairs and start working on one of the cabins downstairs so this is what we did last week, we did this main area, so we've got a little galley kitchen, a dining area and a little seating area, and then up front you can sit to admire the view as the yacht is sailing along. So we want to do this upstairs section, but we also don't want to forget that we want to put some sun lounges down this very front section here, look so that you can lounge out in the sun and there's the great view of the Moonrise Bay area from where the yacht is anchored just off the coast at the moment so we want some sun lounges so there'll be a furniture under the garden section and um, are the sun, yeah, sun lounges are in sun chairs, yeah, brilliant so we could go for the pallid ones or the simple ones if you, if you think you might leave them on deck in case it's raining you wouldn't want the padded ones but I think we're going to go with the nice soft padded ones because it's a luxury yacht so you don't want your people sunbathing on wooden slats do you so nice soft padded ones I think we can probably fit four in with a couple of very small tables in between each pair I think that's probably the way we do it so if we put these on the two ends and then just leave enough space I think for those little narrow tables now there's one very light narrow little light galley table and if we can find it there we go the alum table that's the one i'm thinking of because it's quite narrow so if you place it lengthwise between the two tables it's not very big so let's make it all white because our boat's mainly white so we can try and make everything match Let's try and line that up between the two chairs so you've got space for a book or a phone or a drink or something while you're sunbathing. Make sure you put your suntan oil on and don't stay out for too long. Always check how strong the sun is and don't get burned. It's very, very painful when you get burned, so do watch out. I always get burned because I've got really pale skin, so I burn so easy, it's so scary. Sunbathing is definitely not an activity for me personally. Right, so up here, I think we turned this back section into a nice big soft comfy squishy sofa area I and mean, then downstairs we tried to put like those corner sofas in and they just didn't fit because the space wasn't so big but this space is a lot bigger and also if we do like the big l-shaped sofas maybe we can block the stairs off a little bit so that it's safer so people can't fall down there yeah so the marcus sofa i think is the biggest squishiest softest one isn't it and we've kind of got a, a light wood flooring so if we kind of go for a creamy colour up here let's see what colour cushions can we get I kind of want to add accents of blue in different shades because we're on the ocean to kind of tie it in with where we're actually located so I'm going to try the right corner one because I think that's got quite a long section yeah it's got a long section down this side so that could hopefully block the top of the stairs off quite well you see there it also acts as a safety barrier so protect people from falling down the stairs now if we try the same sofa turn around if that will fit we'll use this one it will fit oh look that's almost a perfect fit actually that's beautiful oh i love that now we've got the super soft squishy we've still got a little gap there so maybe we use like a table at the side to kind of block that last little bit of unsafe area for the stairs I wonder how big this table is, this Piros wooden table. It doesn't look huge, so let's see how big that is. Now, would that fit? Yes, because it, it's in front of the pillar, so people won't push it straight through the gap. And then if we put the same... Look, let's match it the other side, we'll put the table there. Although that section of the sofa isn't quite as long, but it gives you access around the pillar, so you've kind of got space to walk around the boat in two different directions that way, if we leave that open. And we use this Lexington coffee table downstairs, so let's use that again upstairs so we're tying the two sections together a little bit as well. Lovely, there's enough space, leg space to walk around, that's just what I was checking there. 
and we've got some sort of decoration on this little table. Downstairs we used a few plants and we used that um, little, yeah, the Bella Rose, that light up holographic rose because that then won't die and it's, it's, it's floral but it won't die so I kind of like the idea of using that. I kind of like the idea of putting a blue one in as well. Should we put like two or three of these in, in different colours, maybe, across the table? Or two long. We could just do the two as like a little section. I'm kind of wondering if we can add like a third or... Mm, I think the white one would be a bit boring, wouldn't it? How about the violet one? Maybe the violet one. And let's use some different coloured lights, just to add a little bit of colour. You won't see that during the day, because they're little tiny pinpricks of light, so you wouldn't really see the lighting in these roses very much. Let's spread them out a little bit. Let's sort of try and make it even. It's a bit difficult to make things perfectly even. If we move the pink one a tiny bit further. That looks good. I like that. And then we've got the decoration. You don't have to worry about remembering to water it all the time. Especially on a yacht when you're not going to be there every day. We have got some real plants around, but there's always a concern that if you don't go regularly uh, you might end up with your poor little plants dead so some of these holographic ones seem like a good idea to dot those around the boat as well and some more sort of hardy plants that like the echivaria that we put downstairs they're succulents because they don't need to be watered every day so they live a lot better if you're not there every single day now i'm thinking up near the front again where you've got the space for the skipper to drive. Maybe we could add some like seating. Yeah, if we put it over there that'll block the stairs. So it would have to be on the side of the boat near where the secondary driving mechanism is here for your skipper to be piloting you. So if you're with your friend and your friend is piloting the boat, you could sit on the comfy sofa and, and chat to them while they're doing that, couldn't you? So I think that's kind of a good idea. And then maybe we add another one of these Piros wooden tables at the side of that as well. Just so you've got somewhere to, to put things. Because these days most people have got a phone or a, a book or something with them when they're on a yacht. And you always want somewhere to put drinks. Because if you're in a lot of high sun you want um, to be able to stay hydrated, don't you, all the time. Yeah, so there's the Equivaria, that, the succulent plants, which don't need so much watering, but I think we want something bigger, so how about this Areca? I keep wanting to put this little like palm tree thing in, but it's quite large with all the fronds, so that's the first place we found that that will actually fit quite nicely. I like that. You've still got space to walk around the pillar to get round, but you've got the nice bit of foliage in there. Um, what have we got? Oh, the orange tree. Now that's quite nice, isn't it? For the you, you want a bright sun for keeping an orange tree and on a yacht that could be quite nice especially on the top deck where you can get a more sun in probably that would be quite a nice place for that yeah I like that I think we could have some like storage or something in this section here so like your pilot's got somewhere for maps and things maps charts spare navigation gear like sextants and things just in case maybe a few spare um, bits of electronic equipment in case anything goes wrong a spare um, radio Maybe some flares and things like that. Uh, and some um, life jackets and stuff. But you definitely want space for things like that on a yacht. So we'll have a look if the canoe cabinet will work. And we're going to turn everything white because we want to match our deco. Maybe we change the handles. No, let's keep them light. Hmm. It's a little bit tall, isn't it, for the front? I kind of want something a little bit shorter. There's nowhere else to put it, is there? No. Um, I kind of want something at the front here, but I also want it to be shorter so that it doesn't really stand up above the section of the boat that's there in the front because I don't want to block the windows because the whole point of the boat is to have the views and the space in the windows and things. So let's try the Kira cabinet. I think that's a bit shorter. Yes, it's shorter, but it's still not short enough for the front of the boat. How about this Emerson one? I think that might be smaller. Let's make it all white. Oh yes, that's the right size. We could probably fit two. We might even be able to squish three, but I don't think we want to do that. If we put two in, then that also leaves us a little bit more space and it gives us the storage we want. Let's move this one across a little bit. Okay. 
just get all the positioning right. I think I quite like that. So there you've got the storage space now for all the, the things, like charts and safety equipment and flares and stuff like that. I do think we should probably add a bit more sort of greenery and plants and stuff. Uh, the succulents are always a good idea for if you're not great with plants or you're not always there to water them. And we've got one of those downstairs as well, so it'd be nice to have one of those upstairs as well. And then let's say one of the passengers has, has bought some flowers because it's an anniversary or something for their partner and, and they bring those in as well. Lovely. Let's not overdo it. And uh, we're not going to put any rugs and things down because we're on the water and they'll just get wet. And we don't want that. Let's keep the nice deck so they're easy to clean. Less slippy if you have got high seas and a rug it's be easier to slip with next to the rug could slide as well. Which now leaves us these there's two rooms down this side and two rooms down the other set of stairs. So this side they had like a little bar area in here when we purchased it and on the one where we had it as a job it had a little gym area. So I'm kind of thinking that the gym is probably a really good idea because I'm thinking the people will have this as a private yacht and then maybe they want to go swimming and scuba diving off a yacht and then they'll, they'll want um, gym equipment if it's a, a bad weather day or just to make sure that they're getting all of the muscles exercise. It's that kind of lifestyle that I'm thinking of for the owner of the yacht. Maybe we have like a wave pattern on the wall. Yeah, so we try that. So it's sort of the 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 dark aquary greeny colour I think I'm gonna go for. We're gonna buy two because I think it's more than fifteen across here. Because this is the same space that would be for the bedroom and bathroom, which is at the opposite side, so this side's going to be a little bit longer because it's not split into two rooms on this side. So I think for the bedrooms you only need one stack to do the feature wall, but for this one you're going to need two because it's that a bit wider. I rather like that because it really looks like the ocean splash, doesn't it, in a, a slightly darker sea or slightly squally weather. I like that. And then maybe that side wall in front of us there, we can maybe make a mirror wall so that you can check out your form and stuff while you're doing your exercises and stuff. So we want a colour for the green now that it matches, or do we go, I don't know, oh, maybe then the blue looks, see, because these sea depth ones, I'd say that's more green than blue. And that, yeah, that's the right colour, look at the darker bits on the ocean wallpaper, that, that looks like the same colour, I think. Let's put a little bit on the wall and stand back, I think that's the one that matches the dark bits on the sea skull. Yeah, that's a really good match for the dark bits, yeah. So we'll, we'll go around and we'll, we will paint all the walls. Uh, the one behind us I want to become a mirror wall, but I'm not sure if the mirrors will fit perfectly. So we will paint the wall just in case that you can see a little bit of the wall around the edge of the mirrors. Hopefully they'll fit the whole thing, but if it just if it can't, I do like everything to be painted properly. So we'll, we'll just go ahead and paint all of it just to be sure. Oh, I don't think the windows have been cleaned. We need to remember to do that as well. I did think I cleaned all the windows. Maybe I only did them on one side of the boat, not both. Don't worry, we'll check all of those as we go through. So I think what we'll do is we'll do this gym area in today's episode, and then we've got three bedrooms and bathrooms to do after that so we might need one two more videos to do that probably two we would mix there's three rooms and three bathrooms so we'll do those later but, uh, yeah this is a really nice kind of color i think it's still a darkish color for the gym area but i think black's just a little bit too much in this sort of smallish room so a little bit lighter makes quite a bit of difference with the amount of light that that lets reflect off the wall. It is a shame you can't put those gym surfaces down inside the house though. 
those ones we've got for the garden. That would be kind of cool if we could put that on the flooring inside here as well. So. so developers, if you see this, that's my big wish, is that we can have that like gym flooring inside the houses, because the gyms you want to put inside the house. Right, one more window and then they'll all be cleaned. And then we want mirrors on a wall and then some gym equipment. It's not a huge room, so I think we maybe we go for one of those really big pieces of gym equipment and then maybe there won't be a lot of anything else. Maybe we'll add a few weights and um, some of those medicine balls and things, maybe exercise balls, that sort of thing around the edges of the room. Right, mirrors. Where are the mirrors? I feel like they ought to be under specialised or decorations and have a separate tab for them. Where is it? Should be there is I'm sure there's a separate tab for mirrors, isn't there? I forgot where it is. Have I just looked at it and missed it? Probably. Anyway, let's just type mirror in that'll that'll be easy enough. They probably are shouting at me saying they saw it there, Kitty, you saw it and you missed it. <laughs> Right, so we want the uh, 2.75 metre tall one, so the widest one is a 1 metre section. So if we go, um, yeah, let's start in the corner and see if it doesn't fit all the way across. We'll move it along a little bit and just leave a little tiny section of paint visible at either side. But if we're lucky, it'll fit. It does, it fits! Four of them fit perfectly. Oh, that's lovely, that's perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Now I want that huge piece of gym equipment that's got like different modules on each side of it. That's under hobby somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, sports. I'm sure it's in this section. Yeah, that's it. The Hemi a sports exercise machine. It's like it's got three different side sections or so each side has got a different piece of equipment so I think that's a really good piece if you've only got space for one single piece I think that's probably one of the best ones to have mm, that's a good place to put it yeah if we, if we try to fit any extra pieces of equipment in we're kind of going to be cramming too much stuff in the room aren't we because that's a little bit too close to the wall there yeah, we want to move it a little bit further across. I think that will be the only piece of equipment we put in, but because it's got three sections on three different sides, that's kind of a three-use piece. I think that's a really good one to put in there. Best use of the space that we've got. And then we want a few like accessories around the side. There's definitely some small weights that there, yeah, so we put some of these dumbbells in. The, uh, near the mirror maybe and that's enough for two people to be able to use them at the same time so like then you could have a couple doing their exercises together or something like that and then there's like medicine balls or fitness balls or something there as well I'm sure where are they I know there are some because I've put them in one of the other houses quite recently. Ooh, surfboards. We should probably put some of those in as well, shouldn't we? Because if you'd be travelling around on a yacht, anything to do with water equipment would be quite good, couldn't it? Yeah, though that's kind of a green pattern, that's quite nice. Maybe we use a different we'll make a second one with like a green, that's got a nice green pattern as well. So we put a couple of those down, yeah, nice. No, I still haven't found those big exercise ball things. Oh look, there it is. The gym ball, I call it the fitting gym ball. Yeah, I knew they had those. Right, we've put a couple of these in. Maybe we'll make the second one a different colour. About two different shades of blue. Lovely. So there, we've got all the basic equipment that you could possibly want on your yacht. So we're all set up for our ocean voyage. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. From Soft Kitty 99 goodbye and 
Happy gaming.